academic bank of the credit, so that is basically cloud-based uh, or any, uh, it's more of uh, developing a software. So with this, all these input points, now I'll, uh, I'll make this uh, floor open and then uh, I'll start. Uh, if uh, if I, I can see here uh, uh, any of the panelist member, if uh, you can please go on, like uh, the sizer or uh, in that way, if, uh, we have uh, IIT Kharagpur here, if I can see Professor Tiwari. So if you'd like to teach him, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. In fact, uh, I, I just uh, saw the fourth panel and I was listening to what is discussed, but uh, it seems we need to uh, check as to what has happened in uh, panel one, two and three. And I just checked my mail. I think I have not received the uh, the, um, the details of what has been discussed in these three. But then I would uh, I would imagine certain things uh, because uh, I understand some of the ideas which have been flown. Uh, and I would like to say certain points because I just heard you that uh, okay if somebody has some credits uh, how it will be transferred there and how that credit will be taken in an next institute and things like that. Uh, but before I start, I would uh, just take a minute or so to talk about the non-technical subjects that we have talked of. Uh, am I audible, by the way? Yes, sir, you are very much audible. Please go ahead. Okay, great, great. So, uh, while thanking the organizers for giving me this opportunity, uh, I would like to say that, uh, see, in fact, there is nothing called non-technical. This is nothing but human engineering and social sciences. See, the whole body of the man has engineering parts. Otherwise, the, how your blood is being pumped. So, the, you cannot consider that the relationship that we are talking with one person to other person, the gestures that we are making and the feelings that we have, these are all connected and uh, in no less than the wireless uh, and telepathy that you are talking of. And therefore, although we say that we have non-technical subjects like humanities and social sciences, but I would, I generally have been talking is, this is human engineering and social sciences. And uh, therefore, all engineering, whether you call it civil engineering, mechanical engineering, agriculture engineering, electrical engineering, and this is also human engineering, and social sciences, which are uh, in fact com complement of each other. It cannot be separated. If we are total, if somebody gave the example, I was hearing the example of this uh, current COVID. You see, the COVID has uh, definitely attacked us and we had nothing to go, to go. But what was important is immunity. And for immunity, it was said that do yoga, maintain these things, eat um, kada and other aspects which people have said and in fact to a great extent that was the only medicine or support that we can think of and keep ourselves fit so therefore it is the human engineering which has actually worked against this covid 19. so i would say that uh, let us not talk of non-technical it's all every part is an engineering if you take it that way okay now I'll come to what has been said. Well, the flexi or flexible academic program, it has been discussed and uh, it's a very good thing because I know being an IIT here, many of the students do not uh, like to read a particular subjects, but because of the force of their parents, they go for those subjects. I would not like to name the parents or the student, but I can tell you, that parents, I have come across parents who wanted that their son should become uh, a computer scientist, but the fellow, the student wanted to read in physics. He wanted to do some, something like uh, what Raman did and all that. Uh, I've come across a student uh, whose parents wanted that he should do engineering, but he said, no, I'm interested in music and I want to become one of the best directors, music directors of the world. So see the feeling of that. And the many P2020 has given all the scopes of that. And in this context, if I tell you, IIT Khaipur is virtually a multidisciplinary educational research university of the first of its kind in the country. And we have all these options open. 
um, very, uh, in fact, uh, very much coinciding with the NEP 2020. Uh, last year itself, we have revamped our program and we have merged the uh, options of uh, NEP 2020 into our uh, program. And I can tell you that we have at IIT Kharagpur now, earlier it used to be MSc in Physics, Chemistry, Mathematics, Geology, Geophysics. We have made it BS and MS. And now the entries are at BS level. If the fellow is interested to go for MS, he can go. If he's not interested, he can take the degree after four years. And now we have also made options, for example, school. many of our students who are talented, sometimes once they come in and they come across some of the seniors and some of the options which are open, then what do they do? They say that, okay, after two years, let me go out and start a startup. The idea which they have, so two, three of them come out and want to do something. So we have made options for that. They can go out, work for one or two years, see that their, their program or their uh, the startup starts and they would like to come back. We have made that program. Supposing somebody is interested that I would like to have a few courses of this uh, subject and uh, a kind of, say for example, somebody is interested, somebody is reading in BS physics, but he wants to have some courses of electronics. We have made, um, uh, option that yes you can pick up some of the courses of electronics which of your choice and we have not made the uh, the, uh, the cap that you have to get so much of cgp we have made that okay simple cgp of around uh, 6.5 is enough if you are interested similarly we have also given options of music we have an uh, academy of uh, classical and folk arts we have a center of happiness we have also uh, opened on the center which is going to be inaugurated very soon, Academy of Leadership. So we have given so much options to our students that they can pick up. We, you know that somebody talked of uh, the law school. Yes, we have the law school started in 2006. So we give degree to, uh, to persons who have taken a law degree. They can come here and read, get a degree from IIT Kharagpur. Some of the scientists who have done MSc, BTEC, they can come here and take a degree intellectual property law. So the options are very much open. We have also talked of some of the IITs students, some of the students say student from IIT Patna wants to come to IIT Kharagpur and pick up some of the courses. We have made options for that, that he can come here for be at some semester and then take up some courses and we will give him a certificate that, okay, these are the things which he has done at IIT Kharagpur. We will not give him ultimately a degree from IIT Kharagpur, he will get a degree from IIT uh, Patna only, but he can, in his curriculum, it can be set. Now, this needs to be debated with other IITs as well, but IIT Kharagpur, we have decided. Similarly, if IIT Bombay, somebody wants to come to IIT Kharagpur, or from IIT Kharagpur, somebody wants to go to IIT Bombay and pick up some of the subjects in a particular discipline where he is interested, I think we need to, we have opened up, we have discussed, and we would like to talk to other IITs. So, if in the context of NEP systems of various options that have been given, I think IIT Kharagpur has taken a lot of things. We have also talked of uh, introducing even the language. Some of the students in 2021, those who have joined, we have asked them or we are going to ask them that, okay, if you are interested that uh, some of the courses will be taught in Hindi or Bengali or in any subject, I think Telugu, we have decided on three subjects, we can do that help as well. What is important for IITs is that uh, in IIT, we have a problem. Supposing the person enters, we cannot uh, give him a diploma or we cannot give him a B, uh, degree which is lesser than BTEC. But what we have thought that if we can want to introduce what NEP 2020 is there, we have said that the first year is a zero year because there he just learns about the preliminary of engineering if he enters into the AJ system. And then second year, he picks up the subject of his choice in a discipline. And after two years, if he wants to go out for some time, for some time, or he wants to say that, okay, I'm quitting, then we can give him a certificate. Then the third year, what we want, the third year, he has learned more subjects of that. Then we would like to give him a diploma. Now, this year, diploma award is being, uh, being debated. But still, I think it is possible if it is acceptable to the uh, to the industries and other worldwide, because the IITs have the brand name, and we would like to maintain the brand name. And 
therefore it is not uh, not suddenly possible until it decided at a larger level at the national level that yes cnit is also we can give this and acceptable to all then we can give at the end of the third year and in the fourth year any with a degree we can also think of if somebody has say 160 credits ours is now 170 or so now if somebody does about say 150 years you know, credits or so we are thinking that we can give him a bsc in engineering on say microelectronics or uh, instrumentation or maybe civil engineering something like that what resources we are also debating this part and we have taken a decision um, the whole thing will be passed in the board that's why i'm not leaking everything but these are some of the discussions that we have gone through so while maintaining the brand of the iit system i think we have incorporated more or less all the parts of uh, nep 2020 so far as the exit entry options are there we can allow the nit students to come in here take some subjects and go away this is also a possibility that we are thinking of non j also we are thinking that we will have some courses on certificate courses on on economics certificate courses on law certificate courses on management and uh, even mathematics we are thinking of these courses as say farm machinery if we can think of precision agriculture we are thinking of non j candidates as well so this is what I would like to share that I have said. I think, I hope I have not um, exceeded the time which was given to me. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you for your uh, uh, your remarks and uh, the elaborating the thing that how the things are being done at your uh, place. In fact, in multiple occasion, my director used to quote the example of IIT Kharagpur that how they have beautifully managed to, you know, intermix the MBBS and uh, technology for the biomedical uh, kind of thing. So. Uh, we all know that uh, NEP implementation, uh, IIT Kharagpur has started it uh, as uh, before anyone else, at least in IIT uh, uh, domain. Now, I just uh, want to highlight three points here, then I will again make the floor open. Uh, if uh, uh, Professor Tiwari, if you want to add something on this three point, you can, or we can pass on the floor to other uh, uh, panelists. So there are actually three major concerns which has came again and again in last two days by most of the mm -hmm. uh, academician the first one is that if uh, it's not only only a few iit are uh, joining hand for the implementing this consortium you have uh, nit triple it iit and other cfti also so the first question asked by a uh, few fellow from niti ayog as well as few of the eminent academician that what would be the governing structure if at all this thing come into place so uh, I, I will request my panelists to kindly stress on this point. Any suggestion, any remark? What can be the overall governing structure? This is the first point. Second point of concern was uh, if there is a cluster of university coming together for this program, then what can be the administrative structure as a consortium end or as well as, well as the hub end? Like, you know, how we'll manage in the intra institute matter. Inter in the sense, if there is a IIT to IIT uh, jump or IIT to IIT participation, and if there are some inter institute uh, uh, this thing, so how to manage? Second thing is that uh, if this national level or international institutional uh, uh, international level uh, collaboration can be done, because few uh, people have suggested that if a particular department, particular de uh, institute is very good in one subject, then student may you know go there. So how to uh, how to manage that additional huge uh, intake of student at that particular semester or just for a particular subject? And third point, which is most crucial, is uh, how to maintain the uh, entrepreneurship or the uh, uh, startup culture uh, during this entire thing. And then uh, by the end of the day, like uh, how can you make them uh, employable? Because uh, Sarah just now suggested, Professor Theory has suggested that you know. Directly, we cannot give a diploma or degree uh, or sorry, certificates and uh, as of now. But even if somebody is giving a diploma, what will be their employability in the uh, industry? Uh, it is just for the sake of uh, saying that uh, you have got a diploma and then further you can continue for the degree course. But then if somebody is going to the market or to the job perspective, uh, is he or each he can be employable directly? And if not, then institute has to think about this because it's only education. It's also skill and skill has to also go for the national building. So uh, I'll request my esteemed panelists to kindly thought about this three point and the point which I have already discussed. So the floor is open. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I think just uh, slightly I will add, particularly IIT to NIT, as you said, no. Uh, can I say something? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, 
So see, for example, we have seen that some of the top NITs uh, students who are eight pointers, uh, nine pointers and all that, if they are interested to have certain subjects, now this between the IIT and that NIT has to have a correlationship, uh, a MOU or sort of a governing body that you are talking of, maybe tri institute or three institute very rightly being thought of. In that case, we have to have that what are the subjects, level subjects, or what are the choices of the students which can be accommodated? And those things have to be entered in his data in a grade sheet. And equivalence of the courses have to be created so that he gets the degree for which he has uh, entered either in NIT or in any other IIT or so. This is uh, one thing which is secondly, for the, uh, the way we have already met collaborations with other institutes in the world for PhD degree we have, for uh, the master degree also we have. So similarly, we can have these with the institutes and a governing body of uh, two or three institutes can be taken and that governing body can now decide over the total courses that could be taken. And if these courses are at diploma level and certificate level, we are trying, I think there has to be say a diploma in say power electronics, diploma in say machinery engineering, power electronics in, uh, say diploma in uh, actually design engineering something like that which will which will create something different than what diploma we are giving by, to the students from other uh, um, other institutes which are there in the country so there has to be this level of decision taking at a governing level where two three institutes sit together and decide these so that it is known to the world known to the employers and there is no problem for the students or the candidates who pick up these set skills and then go to the world that is what i wanted to say because ultimately after taking the once they know something owner they take this has to be employed and that has to be kept in mind thank you thank you sir uh